Fans of Keeping Up With The Kardashians or devoted followers of Kylie Jenner's Insta will probably recognize the name Jordan Woods. But she's more than just a fellow selfie lover, she's Kylie Jenner's best friend. We'll let you know who she is and just how close she is with Kylie. Before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button for the latest from the taco. Now, let's meet Jordan Woods. The Reveal while Kylie Jenner tried to keep her pregnancy a secret from the public, Jordan Woods had a front row seat. She was even with Kylie in the bathroom where she took the test that let her know she was expecting. To confirm that she was reading the test right, Kylie even passed the test to Jordan to make sure. If examining something soaked in someone's urine isn't true friendship, we just don't know what is. We know that her fans were the last to know all of the details of her pregnancy, but Jordan was definitely the first in line for details. Model Behavior you might be surprised to know that Jordan is a model as well. Famous modeling agency Wilhelmina asked her to join their arsenal of plus-sized models, and Jordan happily accepted. Leaving her friends and family behind, she headed to New York to pursue her new career. Between modeling and supporting BFF Kylie Jenner through her pregnancy, Jordan needed a little R&R. She headed to Mexico for some much-needed stress relief, but was still on the clock. In addition to modeling a fabulous yellow bikini, she also showed off a striped ruffled boohoo jumpsuit, since she's an ambassador for the brand. Gifts it's safe to say that baby Stormy started getting spoiled the second she was born, but she's not the only one who's experienced Kylie's generosity. When Jordan Woods turned 18, BFF Kylie gifted her a brand new Mercedes complete with a big red bow. Kylie shared a photo of the luxury vehicle on social media with a caption praising Jordan's down-to-earth and selfless personality. It may not be quite as extravagant as the $320,000 Ferrari 482 Italia that Tyga gave Kylie for her 18th birthday, but it's a pretty good present nonetheless. Jordan thanked Kylie for always motivating her to do her best, which we guess is almost as good as a Mercedes. Elizabeth Woods It turns out that Kylie Jenner is far from Jordan's only connection to fame. Her mother is Elizabeth Woods, noted LA socialite and brand manager at Mixed Image Media and PR. In addition to having a close relationship with her daughter, Jordan, she has a motherly bond with Kylie as well. She even posted a photo of the three of them spending time together on Mother's Day. We wonder how Kris Jenner felt about that. And Kylie Jenner is far from her only celebrity friend. She's also frequently spotted with Jaden Smith, Sean Ross, and Ashley Graham. John Woods Sadly, Jordan's father, John Woods, is no longer with us. In January 2017, John went to the hospital complaining of flu-like symptoms and was diagnosed with meningitis. After a lack of improvement, doctors noticed a lesion and diagnosed him with stage 4 cancer. Friends immediately leapt into action, starting a GoFundMe page to raise money for the family's mounting medical bills. In just a short period of time, they were able to raise $18,000, of which $10,000 was from Kylie. Unfortunately, it was too late to save Jordan's father. And he passed away a mere two weeks after his diagnosis. Thankfully, Jordan has a huge support system around her during this difficult time in her life. The Downside Growing up with a famous best friend seems like a dream come true, but it's not all gorgeous social media selfies and gifts of luxury cars. There is a definite downside, and Jordan has admitted that at times she finds her friendship with Kylie draining. For example, she and her BFF can't simply go out and grab a quick lunch together. It requires a contingent of bodyguards just to get to your car, and once you arrive, you'll be hounded by the paparazzi, not to mention rabid fans and people staring at you. Having a famous best friend becomes sort of a lifestyle after a while, according to Jordan, and she has struggled to adjust. Plus size. According to Jordan, adding the plus size qualifiers to models is something that needs to end. While she loves and embraces her curves, she thinks it's a shame that the definition for model is so narrow. And clearly, modeling agencies have taken note of her figure and believe she has what it takes. Wilhelmina Modeling Agency was so impressed that they recruited her based on her Instagram posts. Jordan claims that her body is naturally curvy and there is no way she could ever be a size zero. Thanks to increased exposure of plus size models, Jordan believes it's only a matter of time before society society changes its view. And of course, she admits that an added bonus would be more designers making more clothing options in larger sizes. Body Positivity While Jordan is comfortable in her own skin, she doesn't believe body positivity is unconditional. She believes that accepting your body is essential, but so is improving upon it where you can. When she posts a picture of her at the gym, her fans are quick to declare that she isn't being accepting of her own body. But to Jordan, that is the opposite of body positivity. She believes that taking care of your body is the best way to show that you love it. We are only given one body, and Jordan believes we should be as good to it as possible. For her, that means drinking a lot of water and exercising. Body Shaming 
While Jordan tries to be positive about her body, there are many people out there trying to tear her down. While some claim modeling promotes an unhealthy lifestyle, Jordan insists that it's made her more confident in her appearance. All that working out at the gym has paid off, and Jordan lost a lot of weight despite not being focused on the scale. Many people even believe that she now bears a resemblance to Kylie Jenner's sister, Kim Kardashian. Accusations have begun to surface that Jordan had liposuction and other surgical procedures to augment her body. It's sad that people want to minimize her hard work and accomplishments, but she seems to just be brushing off the haters. Therapy Losing a parent is never easy, no matter how famous you and your pals are. Not only did Jordan lose her father John rather suddenly, but at a young age as well. If you are one of the people who tried to shame her for working out and losing weight, get ready to put your foot in your mouth. During a routine physical, her doctor suggested that she pursue therapy as a way to work through all of her emotional trauma. Instead, Jordan decided to get a boost of dopamine by hitting the gym. Exercise has been proven to help anxiety, and according to Jordan, it's working for her. Although she in no way claims that it would work for everyone, it seems to be a good fit for her sad situation. Birth Coach when it came to her pregnancy, Kylie Jenner had no lack of support, but in addition to her family and all the help she could afford to hire, she needed a birth coach. Obviously, she picked her best friend Jordan Woods for the job. If you're wondering what exactly a birth coach does, don't worry, we'll let you know. Jordan attended Lamaze classes with Kylie, learning how to help her breathe and relax during birth. Basically, she was trained to act as emotional support and provide helpful feedback while Kylie delivered her baby. No wonder Jordan took a vacation after Stormy was born. Commitment so we know that Kylie and Jordan are close, but some may think they take their friendship a bit too far. When Jordan announced that she would be taking some distance to focus on her career, Kylie decided to lock down their bond. The two had a commitment ceremony, where they dressed up and exchanged vows to one another. According to Kylie, Kris Jenner is uncomfortable with the bond the two share, so we can just imagine what she thought of this. Although the girls claim to be just friends, Kylie has referred to Jordan as her girlfriend, and this commitment ceremony raised a lot of eyebrows balance. But even the happiest of couples fight at times, and Kylie and Jordan are no exception. Jordan admits that she has struggled to find a balance between her individual life and the one she shares with Kylie. Being close to Kylie means a lot of traveling and attending events, which sounds fun at first, but we can see how it would get old. Jordan acknowledges that she loves being there for her best friend, but sometimes needs to be able to do her own thing. The two have argued about this topic many times, but at the end of the day, they both want what's best for one another. Goals. While she's embracing her modeling career, Jordan has other goals as well. Something surprising that she's passionate about is skincare, and she can't go anywhere without her moisturizer and sunscreen. She admits that someday she would love to have her own line of skincare products. While her best friend might shill lip kits, Jordan wants to come up with a whole kit of facial care products. But until that day, she says that she uses a lot of Kiehl's products, and her biggest beauty priority is protecting her skin from the sun. Third wheel. With Jordan and Kylie joined at the hip, you might wonder how there is room for anyone else. We know that Kylie does date, and in fact managed to conceive a child, so clearly something is going on here. Kylie has admitted that Jordan becomes a third wheel in her relationship, but not in a negative way. In fact, Kylie confesses that having someone else to direct her attention towards is probably a relief for Jordan, who occasionally wants alone time. Jordan says that she feels like an extension of the relationship Kylie is having with her partner. Being a third wheel doesn't have to be a bad thing, as Kylie and Jordan and demonstrate. Dating. As with most celebs, people like to speculate about who Jordan Woods is dating. She's been linked to Jaden Smith, but there's no real evidence that the pair have been anything other than friends. Jordan also believes that social media makes dating rather strange. You can scroll through someone's social media and learn all about them before the two of you even chat. In addition, she's admitted that although she's a friendly person, she always has her guard up when someone gets close. These things definitely make it hard to start a relationship, even without her involvement with Kylie. Obsession Kylie may be famous for her signature pout, but can you guess the feature that Jordan is obsessed with? It's her eyebrows. She actually used to be a bit of a tomboy growing up, until being surrounded by famous faces inspired her to glam up. Since then, she's been obsessed with her eyebrows, and says she would never ever try to make them look thin. They're the first thing she tends to with regards to her face, and she has an unusual beauty hack to share. If you're overdue for an eyebrow wax, just clean and sculpt with some concealer. It's a quick and easy trick that should tidy you over until your next appointment. Tattoos 
Many celebs have a bit of ink on them, and Jordan is no exception. Her brother, Joshua, is even a tattoo artist. She got her first when she was only 17, and it depicts the seven chakras on the human body. Jordan also has a matching finger tattoo with Kylie Jenner, because of course she does. Her latest tattoo is a J with a pale halo, in memory of her late father and tattooed by her brother, Joshua. In total, Jordan has nine tattoos, representing everything from balance to her astrological sign. Hobbies. When she isn't jet setting or hanging out with Kylie, what does Jordan enjoy doing? She's recently gotten interested in photography, and it turns out she likes being behind the camera as much as she likes being in front of it. She's also taught herself how to DJ, even taking her equipment with her on the road. And while it's easy to claim to be a DJ, Jordan has performed at an event for True Religion and a Wilhelmina event for World Smile Day. She's always looking for something new to discover and claims that her hobbies help her learn more about herself. High School Fitting with the theme of her extraordinary life, Jordan didn't have a normal high school experience either. Those years were difficult for Jordan, as her father was out of work due to the writer's strike. Her parents subsequently divorced, and she moved around a lot. During this time, she was homeschooled, and missed out on events like prom that many of us take for granted. But never fear, she did get to attend prom with Kylie Jenner when the two crashed a high school prom in Sacramento. Emma Stone had declined Albert Osha's invitation to prom, but Kylie stepped in, bringing Jordan along as always. Do you wish that you had a BFF you were as close with as Kylie and Jordan? Or does just the thought of it make you feel claustrophobic? Tell us your thoughts in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to The Taco for more great videos. Bye for now!